Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to talk, uh, start talking about um, a topic called innovations, uh, innovation solution. And in that, there is a concept called clarify your concept and proposal. So till now, um, if you if you're following along, you would have known that we spoke about, you know, how to come up with a new idea, how to brainstorm the idea. Um, you know, and then uh, building a prototype, right? Now, that's all great. Now, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to talk about clarify your concept and proposal. So obviously, you know, you you wanted to, you know, start building a prototype. But before that, the one of the important thing you need to consider is to get an approval from your stakeholders, right? Because obviously, um, you know, if, if they are the one who are going to fund it, they're going to ask a few questions, right? Who this building? Why? The, why are you building this uh, at first place? And who will be the target audience? And what's the problem you're trying to solve? And how it's going to benefit our customers? Right? You need to, you know, come up with some scenario or some kind of explanation around these areas. Otherwise, what will happen? The stakeholder will say, "Hey, I'm not interested. You're just wasting our time and money." Right? So you need to, you know, come up with a proposal, right? Why a business proposal, right? Um, why you wanted to do it, or you know, what's the advantage of building this? And but the thing is, um, you need to focus on advanced prototyping, right? Like I said in my previous uh, video, right? It's not good enough to just to do PowerPoint presentation. You need to come up with a solid at least one face of an app before it even you know get approved or you know someone to say hey okay we are we are on board with this stuff right so that's why it's very important right uh and so they so like i said right the few topics you need to uh the few few ideas you need to uh, pay attention to like what's the idea first of all right obviously your stakeholder will ask uh, what the customer-centric problem does it solve? How does it work? What's the business value? How do you implement it? How much it cost? Cost plays an important role, right? Because if I'm an investor, right, he comes to me and say, hey, I want this stuff to get done. Okay. The first question will be, who is this for? And what's the value it's going to bring to our business, right? And what's in, in, in it for me, right? If I want to invest, let's say, 50 grand, can I make at least 70 grand out of it? If not, then I'm not really interested, right? So, and how much does it really cost is to make this product? And what's the return of investment? There are a lot of things you need to ask, right? Because you need to you need to imagine from an investor perspective. Investor doesn't care about the tech you use. For them, it's all about the return of investment, right? If you're not going to generate that, it doesn't matter. Nobody cares about the technology being under the hood. A developer might care, I care about it. Architect might care about it. A consultant might care about it. A customer, most likely they don't, unless the customer is, is extremely tech savvy and they have a specific bias to a certain tech stack. That's a different story. We don't really get to see that often, right? Uh, so it's just between an architect and a developers and, and senior um, you know, people who are in the advisory board, they usually get involved in this kind of things, right? But apart from that, investor doesn't care. Investor is, okay, I'm going to invest, let's say, 100 bucks. Can I get 120 out of it? If you if you're gonna say, hey, I'm gonna invest 100 bucks, you might get 98. I will say, screw it, I'm not interested. That's how business work, right? Why do you think that uh, um, the Facebook or Elon Musk, Twitter or Amazon, they laid off people? It's investor centric. They would have realized, oh, we got too many people on the board. They're not generating money. They're not good for the business. Get them get them out of the out of the way. That's how it works, right? And and as a CEO, you can't really say much, right? If you can give certain feedback, you might say, oh, this is our best resource, right? He built, say, a deep learning framework or he built, you know, a deep mind or something like that for our business and that's generating millions of dollars. So investor will say, okay, keep him. And what about this uh, 100,000 people? Oh, they're, they haven't done much. Okay, get rid of them. So that's, you know, that's, how the technology works that's how the investor space work it's it's a cutthroat competition right um so and it's so many people uh you know looking for funding and investors are willing to fund but you need to come up with the right proposal 
their business proposal, right? So that's this topic is all about, right? Your product may be extremely good. You have a great idea, but you need to pitch it, right? If you don't know how to pitch it, go and learn it, how to do it, right? And it's very important to, you know, put up, put across different things, right? Investors shouldn't be asking the question because you should not give an investor to an opportunity to ask the question and should instead you should have every data in front of you so that investors kind of feel that, oh, okay, this guy covered pretty much everything, right? Um, so, yeah, that's something I really wanted to talk about. And also, you know, when you talk about, you know, the proposal, right, you should talk about along with the cost, what's your implementation plan looks like, what's the time frame look like, and what's the, uh, and the type of customers you wanted to target, right, and how they're going to use it. And how are you going to measure the success of the product, right? All these things you need to talk. If you can't discuss it, then it's not really great, right? So, yeah, that's pretty much I wanted to talk about it. Uh, this is an interesting topic. And like I said, right, I'm not talking anything about Salesforce. It's just a Salesforce certification. But it talks a lot about different things. And I think, personally feel, this is one of the best certs out there. You know, it's kind of a, it. I feel it's kind of, technology agnostic but at the same time Salesforce wanted to say it's their certification which is great I mean they obviously um, will ask questions around Salesforce ecosystem right but most of the things are generic so that being said I hope you guys have an amazing uh, Thursday adios